this is called a parasol stitch and it's very very cute I remember my grandmother made a little baby jacket with very thin yarn for a sister of mine and this is very cute also for like for a little girl's dress or if you want to put it on the bottom of, of a, a, a vest or a sweater or a dress or whatever you wish. Anyway, this is the way it's done. Uh, it is a multiple of 17 plus 2. And the two are only for the edges. So if you want to repeat this, go 17 and then 17 and then 17 plus one for each edge. So I'm using um, cotton yarn number four and I'm using size eight knitting needles. So make believe that I just cast it on my stitches and I have 19 here and I'll take a picture of how it shows with two or three wide. So row number one you're going to knit one and that's my edge one so that doesn't count and here's the repetition yarn over knit one now this purl three and knit one you're going to do four times so purl three one two three knit one that's ones Purl three, one, two, three, knit one, that's two times, one, two, three pearls, knit one, that's three times, one, two, three, knit one, that's four times, yarn over and knit one. So now what you want to do on row number two in all even number rows you're just going to purl. So let's do that because I don't have that many stitches. So we purl the whole row this I think I'm going to make a, a thin scarf and I'll just add like three or four stitches on the sides maybe like a garter or seat stitch so it doesn't curl this would look very cute or for a headband also that would be nice okay so row number three what you want to do is knit one and because that's the edge one and then knit one yarn over knit one and then we repeat four times the purl three knit one so purl three one two three knit one one two, three pearls, knit one, one, two, three pearls, knit one, one, two, three pearls, knit one and then we go yarn over knit one and then knit my edge one and then on the way back you purl the whole row and I'll see you when I finish this row okay I finished purling row four when I finish purling row two I have 21 stitches when I finish purling row two I have 23 so this is row number five and I am going to do knit one which is the edge and then knit two yarn over knit one and now we repeat the purl 
three knit one again so for three knit one Purl three, knit one, purl three, knit one, and purl three, knit one. And I end with yarn over, knit two, and then knit the edge one. And then row number six, I am going to pull the whole row, and I end up with 25 here. That's two, three, four. You end up with two more on each round, on each uh, pearl because you are adding the yarn overs on each side so here we are and let's do row number seven And this is going to be a little bit different. Row number seven is a little bit different because we're going to start taking off. Okay, so row number seven, you're going to knit the edge one and then knit three. One, two, three, yarn over, knit one. Now you're going to purl two together. Purl one and knit one. Again, purl two together, purl one, knit one. Again, purl two together, purl one, knit one, and again, purl two together. Purl one and knit one. And now you're going to end with yarn over, knit three, and the edge one. There we go. Now on row number eight, you're going to purl the whole row. And I'll see you when I finish this row. Okay, I finished row 8 and I have 23 stitches. Row 9, you want to knit 1 and this is where the repetition starts. You knit 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, yarn over, knit 1. Now you're going to repeat 4 times, purl 2 together, knit 1. So purl 2 together, knit 1. Row two together, knit one. Pearl two together, knit one. And pearl two together, knit one. And now what you want to do is do, oops, let me get this knot out of here. You want to yarn over, knit four, one, two, three, four, and this is my edge one. Now you are going to purl 21 stitches, and let's do that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, so row number 11, you are going to knit 1 and then knit 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yarn over, knit 1. Now, on this time you want to slide the next two stitches together knit wise from your left needle to your right needle like so and then you knit one and those two need to go over the last one that you knitted okay now knit one and you do that again you slide those two stitches knit wise knit one and those two you pass over the last one that you knitted and knit one so now you yarn over knit five one two three four five and that's my edge one and then row twelve you purl the whole row and that's it you repeat these twelve rows until the length that you want and I'm thinking it would be a very nice idea to do one of those scarves that fold into each other and it would be very nice you start each side so you do one side and then do the other side and then you put them together with a Kitchener stitch and that would be very very nice either a three needle bind off or a Kitchener stitch and that would look very very pretty well thank you very much for watching and thank and uh, subscribe and share us with your friends and like our page and thank you very much and I'll see you next time mm -hmm.